Hello everyone. We are going to show you the configuration of IPI sensors. But before configuring, we need to give sensor address to individual IPI sensor. So let's get started. Click on the ESDL30 UNI software icon. SDA12 Universal Data Logger software will open up. Go to Data Logger. Connect the sensor. It will automatically detect the COM port. Click on connect. Data logger connected successfully. An open site window will open up. Click on cancel. Go to file, create site. Enter the site name you wish to keep. Here we are showing as IPI demo. Click on save. Go back to file, open site. Select the site which you have created that is IPI underscore demo. Click on open. Now the first part is to give the sensor address to each sensor. As you have connected first sensor at channel 1, click on edit. Select set sensor address. Select channel that is channel 1. Assign address. All the IPI sensors which have been dispatched from our factory, they are given zero sensor address so you can accordingly give the addresses on site as an encardiorite convention we give the sensor address one or the sensor number one to the bottom most sensor and then subsequently the numbering will be followed till the top here we are giving first sensor as address one click on set address a new address one is given now to counter check we will be going to diagnostic and click on search sensors. Unselect channel 3 and channel 2 as there are no sensor connected to it and click on search sensors. On channel 1, address 1 should be displayed. See, 1 is being displayed. That means we are sure that the address given has been taken. Cancel it. Similarly, follow for the next sensor. The next sensor is connected. Go to edit, set sensor address. This would be a second sensor. Give it as address 2. Click on set address. Address 2 is given. Now cross check again. Go to diagnostic. Click on search sensors. Repeat the steps. 2 is being displayed. Now the subsequent sensor is to be connected. Go to edit, set sensor address, assign address 3, click on set address, a new address 3 is given, now to cross check, go to diagnostic, search sensors, 3 is being displayed. Here we have shown you the sensor address to be given for 3 sensors, for example in an IPI borehole on an average 10 sensors are being lowered at every 2 meters, then you need to give address to each sensor individually for 10 sensors. Once you have uh, lowered the IPI sensors in a borehole, you need to configure it to take the readings and then to upload it on the server. So we are going to show you the settings of IPI sensors, the whole assembly, the whole daisy chain. You need to connect the SDA12 Universal Data Logger configuration software with the laptop or a PC. Then the window pops up and the software window pops up. You need to click on file then go to open site and you should select the same file which you have created for giving the sensor address. Here we have given the sensor address to IPI demo site. So we would be selecting that. Click on open. Site would open up. Current site is IP underscore demo. That's being displayed here. Go to edit and then select auto create sensor table. It would be automatically creating sensor table and it would be following the steps which have been given here. And you need to click generate table and information window will pop up for updating sensor table. You need to click OK. It will start creating. It has searched all the channels for the connection then it has then it is getting the sensor model information then the sensor parameters information then it is building the sensor table then a window will pop up to save the generated table you need to select desktop click on open report generated a pdf will open up and it shows the sensor serial numbers and the sensor addresses close it we need to set the sensor parameters go to edit click on sensor table 
select channel channel 1 is selected then the sensor address 1 the serial number is G191243 is connected you need to give the sensor tag the sensor tag should be given as per the bore hole and as per the depth here we are giving the sensor tag as IPI underscore bore hole number say 10 then at what depth it's lowered that is 20 meters and then the sensor number generally as an encardioride convention we give the sensor address 1 or the sensor number 1 to the bottom most sensor and then subsequently the numbering will be followed till the top click on added parameter unit you need to select the parameter name as axis a tilt parameter unit degrees since it's a bioaxial sensor you need to select the second axis axis b tilt parameter unit degree then the third parameter name is temperature unit is degree centigrade click on exit then click the next arrow sensor address 2 would be displayed sensor serial number G181117 give the sensor tag as I have told you bore hole number 10 it's installed at 18 meters depth and the sensor number is 2 click on edit parameter units parameter names axis A tilt degree axis B tilt unit is degree temperature click on exit now go for the third sensor sensor serial number is G190898 sensor tank is click on edit parameter units click on update to update the sensor table a warning window will appear click on yes then it asks for the for erasing the memory click on yes data logger memory erased successfully now it's updating sensor table sensor table is updated go back to edit open the sensor table window again and click on generate report it will again ask the path select the desktop as the path open the report a new report would be generated this report is being generated it's being shown here it shows the sequence number the sensor address the sensor model sensor serial number sensor tag and the parameter name and unit check all the sensor are being configured correctly then close it go back to the configuration software go to settings then click on GPRS modem you need to check the FTP settings for your regions here we have given the IP address as 104.199.220.228 username is given as test23 and the password confirm password port given here is 21 click on update FTP settings updated successfully you need to select the uploading time upload interval it could be 24 hours or 12 hours or maybe 6 hours here we have shown the upload interval as 24 hours you can change it likewise and next upload start time is the particular time at which the uploading will start so just to show here the uploading I'll be selecting a current time as 940 click on update the upload schedule has been set now in advanced settings the access point name to be given of the service provider you are using the same service provider and the modem operating mode you need to select as sleep check if the upload header in CSV format is enabled and autosync RTC is enabled click on update modem settings completed successfully under GPRS modem it shows you the 4G connection is there it shows the modem IMEI number now just to check whether modem is working or not click on turn on modem the modem is on now and it's showing a signal strength so we are sure the modem is working now turn off now the next step is to scan to set the scanning rates go to data logger click on scan 
scan window will open up the scan option the log interval short and long are given you need to select either of it either long or short here i'm just selecting a short one for 60 seconds just to show whether it's being scanning or not the next you need to select the next scan time the next scan start time i'll select it as 9:39 click on update scan options updated successfully and this is the logger memory section to download the data and this is a scan status start to start the scanning scanning is started once the scanning is started the number of records that scans it will be displayed here then the records from last download that also will be displayed then records from last upload this is our concern since we have done the setting for the gprs modem the number of records which would be shown here once it uploads it will turn to zero that will confirm us records have been uploaded on the server so we'll check on that to check if any record has been scanned click on the refresh button here see one record has been updated and records from last download showing one records from last upload is one and we have set the uploading time at 9:40 and after 9:40 we will see that records from last upload will turn to zero if it turns to zero that means our records have been uploaded on the server and our configuration is correct and it's working you can see i have refreshed it and it has turned from 2 to 0 records from last upload 0 that means two records have been transferred to the server and it shows that our configuration is perfect and it's working now to download the data you need to go to data logger scan you need to check the downloaded header has been enabled now you need to click download data options would be coming either you have to download it from the beginning or from the last downloaded click from the beginning data logger has been downloaded so it would be do you want to erase the memory no i don't want to erase the memory if you want to erase you can select yes and it would the data would be saved in the path where you have set the file and the file would be saved at the location where you have given at the start of the software configuration you can check the data here as well go to data click on view select the file which you have downloaded see this is the file which we have downloaded just now see this uh, data has been displayed channel number sensor sequence then the parameters of that particular sensor the parameter values and the parameter units it's showing the logger battery voltage record date decimal points you can select and the record time now after configuration you can check the logger info the logger info displays the data logger serial number data logger model data logger id firmware version gprs modem option is enabled and it shows the modem type here we have shown the 4g modem for australia similarly we would be supplying the modem type for specific regions like in canada us has the different modem type so we would be configuring the modem type according to the geographical regions and here it shows the sda12 bus power options sampling options then the battery details now once you have configured you need to go to data logger go to disconnect you would be disconnecting make sure you never shut down the data logger if you shut down the data logger all the scanning would be stopped and you would not be recording any data so always make sure you disconnect it now the data logger has been disconnected and the scan status should be on thank you